Chinese vegetable cultivation. There are so many exciting places to visit and things to do in the west region of Cameroon. The Chinese vegetable cultivation in Fumbot. You might be familiar with what I'm going to say next. This is Travel with Dr. Awa and we are touring the west region of Cameroon with you. As the sun greets the skies, our team comes across a vast expanse of farmland in the Fumbad village. This is a masterpiece vegetable cultivation grown for locals but more tailored to the dietary needs of the Chinese people. I am called Mohamed Fongwa. I've been in the agricultural sector for almost 10 years now. In the past, I cultivated lettuce leaves, spices and tomatoes but based on the difficulties and other issues, by the grace of God, we have had a means to trade with the Chinese. From planting it to when you, you actually harvest it and get it ready for consumption is just three weeks. Another amazing fact about this crop is that when you leave the crop to grow longer than three weeks or let me say above a month, it becomes bad. Like you can't consume it. It's not the best product for consumption after that. With this produce, the seedlings are provided to us by the Chinese. We trade them with two different towns. We trade to Douala at a supermarket in Bonaprizo and another one in Aqua. At Yawunde, we deliver the produce at Bastos. Like everybody was growing the same produce, like our regular produce like spices, tomatoes and onions. And this farmer actually found a secret. He decided to farm or he decided to do something different. Actually all he does is to produce crops that, are, that, are, that is being consumed by the Chinese people. For instance right now, this, produce, this product is not consumed by local people or by, it's not consumed locally. For the most part, it is being consumed by Chinese people. I'm seeing this and I'm also seeing another set of Chinese vegetables over there. When I interviewed him and asked him earlier why he decided to do this, he said, you know what, everybody was doing what was, what was regular and so he decided to do something that most people were not doing it for the most part. And now he is saying that it's very profitable for him. Most of the farmers working on these projects have at least 10 years of farming experience. So you could tell without a doubt that it does work for them. The seedlings of most of the spices and onions are provided for by the Chinese immigrants themselves and also tourists and they are planted by locals on this piece of land. According to the caretaker of this farm, the seedlings will take a period of three weeks in and out of season to grow and must be harvested thereafter else they could get barred if kept longer. In this part of the west, crops like ocean and brek are cultivated. Now you might not really know what those are, but the Chinese, they love it. These are harvested and sold to supermarkets in Douala and Yaoundé, the country's capital city, where the Chinese buy them and interestingly, most times eat them raw. It was such an amazing experience discovering a not so popular system of cultivation in the country for foreign consumers practiced in the west region of Cameroon. Inspired by this agricultural attraction, our guide takes us all the way to another impressive major west cultivation. 13 kilometers away from Chang, we arrive at the Irish Potatoes Cultivation Farm at Fungotongo. Yep, all those tasty french fries you drool about, we've got loads of them here. 
The farmland is vast and has several ridges on which the seedlings are planted. It is said that a bag of potatoes harvested here would sell for as much as 37 US dollars, that's about 18,000 Central African francs. We are currently in the western region of Cameroon, precisely in Chang. This is where all the potatoes or most of the potatoes you eat in the country and maybe out of the country is coming from. Wow, right at the foot of the waterfall. Oh my goodness, I'm so amazed at how fresh, big and how nice the potatoes are. The farm owner tells us that per planting session, they use up to 15 seedlings of potatoes and at the moment, the farm has a capacity of 100 seedlings to be planted. One of those seedlings costs 30,000 Central African francs and can produce 5 buckets of potatoes. According to the locals, this is quite a profitable business. Wow! French fries, Irish potatoes, in French! Le pomme. Wow, look at how big they are. Ça c'est le grand. Look there. Voilà mon français. Ce sont les gros gros. Ce sont les gros gros. But look, look at how big it is. Oh my goodness, it's coming all the way at the foot of the waterfall. Yeah, in Chang. Look at what I found. Oh, isn't this amazing? This is definitely more than 50 kg. Definitely more than 50 kg. And you have to carry this carry all the way to the heat up. Yeah. All right. Let me carry it for them. Let's go. Oh. This is what it feels like to have it on your head. A bag of potatoes like this, were corrected, is about 13,000 francs. So when you go to the market and they're charging you, whatever price they're charging you in the market, it's so worth it. You have to pay it because the labor cost is enormous. Woo! Woo! That sums up our most memorable touring experience in the West region of Cameroon.